Hello and welcome to a very special to a for media interview. If you look around, you realize that we are on a different set because we have some very esteemed guests joining us today. We have all four contestants for this year's Miss BVI pageant. The girls are coming through and they will be sharing with us a little information about them so we could get to know them a bit better, get to know their platforms, and get a glimpse of what they would be like as ambassadors for the territory. We get into all that and more after this quick commercial break. VI Motors is having a major auto sale on all parts. What? Come on out to our Dust Bottoms location on Friday the 30th of June from 8 o'clock to 5 o'clock p.m. to enjoy 20% off all filters, including filters that are compatible with Kenworth tractors, Mac, and excavators. Get major discounts on tires. And yes, we even have tires for forklifts, big discounts on tools, batteries, generators, car accessories, lubricants, and much more parts and supplies. This is VI Motors' way of saying thank you for all your support over the year. So come on now to VI Motors on Friday, June 30th from 8 o'clock to 5 o'clock and enjoy some great music, great food, and great giveaways. All while you capitalize on our massive auto parts sale. See you there. Yes! Father Jesus, that learn your long like church service. Hmm. Next customer in line, please. Wait, hold on a second. Yes, Sonny boy, come. Yes, Sonny. Good morning. Good morning, Sonny boy. Good morning. You must have cut from the people. It's okay, it's okay. I'll take care of it. What? No, no man. Protect your name. How may I assist you? Yes, yes. yes. You want top of power? Eh? You want top of power? Eh? Join the prepaid party with CCT and enjoy more affordable data plans, more top-up promotions, more savings with hero bundles, and more value for your money each and every Tuesday with Top-Up Turn-Up Tuesday. Visit a CCT store today or anywhere CCT top-up is sold and top-up your phone. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, you want top-up power? Welcome back and thank you so much for staying with us. In this first segment, we sit with Miss Deborah Smith, contestant number one. Deborah, how are you feeling today? I am feeling excited. All right, amazing. That is the energy that we love on set. Of course, this is a chance for the BVI to get to know you a bit better. So tell us, who is Deborah Smith? I am Deborah Lucia Smith, your contestant number one. And I'm, I'm an energetic, creative, ambitious 22-year-old. I am from Bogus Bay, Tortola. I completed my high school education abroad at Archer High School after the hurricanes. I studied here at Elmore Start High School, but after the hurricanes, I moved away, completed my high school education, came back to the British Virgin Islands, where I went to H. Liberty Stout Community College and got a degree in Associates in Finance. All right, amazing. Now, tell me your reason for participating in this year's Miss BVI pageant. Well, I decided to run for Miss BVI because it was time for me to broaden my horizons, step outside of my comfort zone, and fully embrace who I am. All right. We love that, especially at such a young age, really coming into yourself. Yes. Now, your platform is Special Education, Needs, and Disabilities. Why did you choose this platform? Uh, well, first let me start off on just expanding on that a little bit. Special educa education needs and disabilities that refers to persons who have learning disorders such as dyslexia, ADHD, hearing and speech impairment, and disabilities such as Down syndrome, cerebral palsy, autism, just to name a few. I chose this platform because I've personally observed while working at the Wellness Center the vast amount of persons in our community that struggle in those areas. I want to raise awareness for the struggles they face in terms of infrastructures, policies, training programs, and the transition of those into individuals into society. I want a more inclusive, accessible, and accommodating Virgin Islands. All right, amazing. Ultimately, yes. All right, can you walk us through any of the specific ways that you would like to see these kinds of um, accommodations and facilities integrated into the society? Yes, definitely. So, last year, um, Mr. Franklin Penn was awarded for Citizen Award 
for helping tourists to come on and off of the sidewalk. So we need to accommodate them in the way of establishing curb, mm -hmm. curb sidewalks so that they can get on and off the sidewalks, as well as safety, pedestrian safety measures for herring or blind persons to just cross the roads. All right, that sounds wonderful. And of course, it's one of those things that members of the community have also been calling for. So we're glad yes. to see that you're giving this area a greater voice using this as your platform. Yes. Now, okay. one question that has come up a lot when we're preparing for this interview is circles around the fact that a Miss BVI would be an ambassador for the territory. Yes. So right now, I want you to tell me how you would describe the BVI to someone who has possibly never heard of the territory before or has never been here and is wondering if it would be worth the visit? I will tell them it is one of the best tourist destinations, best tourist attractions in the world. I love my BVI. We have luscious hills, beautiful beaches, wonderful tasty cuisine and rich culture. Mm, amazing. Now, as you spoke of tasty cuisines, yes. one of the first things that you learn possibly when you move to the BVI mm -hmm. is about tart. Now, everybody is on some side of this ongoing great tart debate. So we want to know what side you are on. What is your favorite tart? My favorite tart is guava. I am team guava <laughs> all day long, all season long. Yes, all definitely right, amazing. guava. Amazing. Now before we wrap up, I just want to give you a chance if you want to send thanks to anybody or you want to send a special invitation to anybody to come out and support you on the night of the pageant, this is your chance now. The pageant will be held at the festival grounds, so join me and my fellow, contest my fellow contestants and I at a Virgin Islands Festival Village, celebrating a vibrant cultural blend at 7 p.m. sharp. I want to thank all of my supporters, from my parents, my close friends. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being there for me. It really is an amazing experience. All right, thank you so much for this interview today. And of course, we wish you all the best throughout the rest of your pageant journey and of course, on the night of the pageant. Thank you, and thank you for having me. All right, viewers, with that, we're heading to a quick commercial break. Stay tuned because we will be touching base with the rest of the contestants when we return. When you're in need of air conditioning, installation, repairs, or replacement services, Markinson Air Conditioning and Refrigeration has the professional technicians, equipment, parts, and ACs to get the job done right. Markinson Air Conditioning and Refrigeration carries top brands like Daikin, Aircon, Mitsubishi, and more. We're open Monday to Saturday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Located in Fish Bay. Telephone 340-4114 or 343-9511. Markinson Air Conditioning and Refrigeration, providing exceptional services to the British Virgin Islands since 2015. Go watch CCT Live. Download our app and carry your favorite TV shows, news, or live sports anywhere you go. Visit cctbvi.com forward slash live, select your package, and tune in. Welcome back and thank you so much for staying with us. We now continue today's program with contestant number two, Lakeisha Warner. Lakeisha, how are you doing today? I'm really good. How are you? I am doing quite well. It's been a lovely experience meeting you ladies so far. Thank you. So I'm really hoping you are having a positive pageant experience. I am. It's very enjoyable so far. All right, amazing. Of course, this is an opportunity for the BVI to get to know you a bit better. So tell us, who is Lakeisha Warner? My name is Lakeisha Ashley Warner. I'm from East End Long Luke. I finished my high school schooling in North Carolina where I transitioned to Clemson University and obtained a bachelor's degree in criminal justice. After obtaining that degree, I moved back home where I got a job as a legal secretary. My goal is to go off to law school next year, so right now I'm considered pre-law. All right, amazing stuff. And what was your reason for participating in this pageant? 
two big reasons. One, I want to be an ambassador, and I know a lot of people say that, but I'm known for track and field. I competed competitively for 10 years, so I want to use that alongside creating a new name for myself mm -hmm. and hoping to be able to just spread awareness for different things, be able to be personable and use my platform to help people. Another thing is confidence. Right now, I'm, as I go through this journey, I'm learning a lot, a, a lot about confidence. So I'm trying to teach myself that it's okay to step out your comfort zone and I want everybody else to be able to witness my growth. All right, amazing stuff. And we are proud to be part of this journey Thank for you. you, of course, getting an interview on Two for Media, the lights, the cameras, everything's Everything. in your face. Yes. So this is a big step for you and we're very it proud is. of you. <laughs> Thank you. Of course, as an athlete yourself, so mm -hmm. that brings us to your platform, which is Mental Health Awareness for BBI Athletes. Tell us yes. a bit about that and why you decided to pursue this platform. Well, I experienced it personally. I've dealt with mental health issues outside and alongside with track and I know right now we have a need for um, awareness for athletes. They go through a lot from anxiety to depression to trying to obtain a degree, uh, trying to obtain a contract mm -hmm. or either going professional, trying to get into school and it can weigh on you and feeling alone and not having anybody, you know, I want to bring resources and awareness to that specifically. All right, amazing. Now, that's something very important because yes. outside of the congratulations, you did so well when there's somebody getting first place. Of course, there's right. every other thing, the training for years on end that yes. goes into it all and that can be very draining. Right. So this is a very important platform. It is. All right. Now, of course, you mentioned you want to be an ambassador yes. and Miss BVI is an ambassador for the territory. Yes. So. Had you met somebody anywhere in the world who said they want to visit the BVI for the first time, they don't know what to expect, or somebody who might never have heard of the BVI, how would you describe the territory to them? I would say the BVI is a vibrant cultural place to visit. We love having our visitors, we love to see the tourists walking around, so you'll, be, you'll feel welcomed. It is a small island close to Puerto Rico in the Caribbean, and it's, it's high in sailing. We love our marine life, so you have the sailing, you have the exquisite beaches, you'll have a tranquil experience coming to the BVI. Along that is a great family destination, so you don't have to come alone, you can come as a couple, but your family would also enjoy visiting in the BBI. All right, amazing stuff. So you're selling the trip there. <laughs> Thank All you. All right. Now, another thing about the BBI, you mentioned culture and part of culture is food. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you've heard about the great tart debate yes. that continues to carry on in the territory. So we want to know what side of that you're on. Well, I know a lot will hate me, but I am a coconut girl. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love me my coconut. All right, so we have a vote for coconut tart and we have a vote for guava, guava tart, yes. right? So that's the two most dynamic ends of this debate, you know, so it's a very interesting right. show so far. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Miss Warner. Thank now, you Now, I just want me. to give you a chance before we wrap up this interview mm -hmm. to send thanks to anybody who supported you throughout this journey or send an invitation to anybody you want to come out and support you on the night of the pageant. Yeah. I want to thank my supporters, my mom, my family, um, Ms. B, thank you for teaching me and guiding me and to my dad specifically, he's not here right now, but he is on my side 110%, so thank you and all the, fr the friends, I appreciate all the congratulations so far. All right, amazing. Now we're looking forward to see the rest of your pageant journey and we're looking yes. forward to see you take the stage. So all the best and thank you so much for today. Thank you for having me. All right. Now we head to a quick commercial break. When we return, we speak with contestant number three. Rashford made it. Manchester United have come from behind to lead. At home or on the go, watch CCT Live. Download our app and carry your favorite TV shows, news, or live sports anywhere you go. Visit cctbvi.com forward slash live, select your package, and tune in. Father Jesus, that line you along like church service. Hmm. Alright, do you enjoy the rest of the day? Next customer in line, please. Wait, hold on a second. Yes, Sonny, boy, come, yes, Sonny. Good morning. Good morning, Sonny, boy, over there. 
You must stop cut fun tapping it. It's okay, it's okay, I'll take care of it. What? No, no man, take care of me. How may I assist you? Yes, yes. You want top of power? Eh? You want top of power? Eh? Join the prepaid party with CCT and enjoy more affordable data plans, more top up promotions, more savings with hero bundles, and more value for your money each and every Tuesday with Top Up Turn Up Tuesday. Visit a CCT store today or anywhere CCT Top Up is sold and top up your phone. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You want top up power? Welcome back and thank you for staying with us. As promised before the break, we are now joined in this segment by contestant number three, Anika Christopher. Anika, how are you feeling? A little nervous, but mm -hmm. still really excited. Yeah, I know it can be a lot when the lights and the cameras get in your face, but you know, calm down. We're just going to have a good conversation about your journey, your platform, and of course, we're excited to see you take the stage. All, All right. right. Now, let's start off. Who is Anika Christopher? All right, well, I am a recent graduate of the University of the West Indies, so I'm actually celebrating a lot this season, not just being a part of this pageant, but recently obtaining my bachelor's degree in literature and English with a minor in creative writing. I am also a journalist, a writer, and a published author of not just one, but two books for children. So everything that I do from my educational background to just my day-to-day -day is really, I would say, in perfect alignment with who I am as a person, which is essentially a storyteller. All right, amazing stuff. And of course, congratulations on graduating. It's nice Thank to you. see that you are pursuing your dreams along with pursuing other aspects of development. And that's what's brought you to pageantry also. So I want to just use that to lead into you telling us your reason for participating in this pageant. Well, the beautiful thing about pageantry is that it's multifaceted in nature. In other words, it provides so many opportunities. So for me, it's not a single reason, but it's just a combination of things, you know, from networking opportunities, so wanting an opportunity to just really build my confidence and just recognize what I'm truly capable of. And also, most importantly, I would say is my platform. So I've already established that within my community. And for me, pageantry is just an amplifier. You know, it just further helps you to put out what you've already we're doing and I'm just really excited to see how this journey unfolds. All right, amazing and we're excited to see how things go as well. What's it been like for you so far? For me it's been a lot of preparation you know from modeling training to walking out like three four times a week. It's been a lot but I mean I'm just really enjoying the process. All right now your platform is climate change education and that's a very timely one. Tell us a bit about that and why you chose the platform. Right. So climate change, as we know, is one of the biggest challenges that we, you know, that plagues our society today. And for me, climate change, when you hear about it, it's a really abstract subject. It's really complex in nature. And so the issue becomes, how do you engage young people? How do you have them understand the impact of it? So for me, looking at education, one of the areas that is really untapped or underutilized is our creative arts. So for me, I decided to choose this platform to use the creative arts as a way to bring greater attention to climate change and just allow people to creatively express themselves. All right. Now, in terms of climate change education in the BVI, what areas do you think need to be better explored? So one of the areas I would say is looking at our curriculum and seeing how we can diversify the arts programs that we have, but also kind of tailoring that to climate change. Because again, when you think about climate change, it's a really scientific subject, so you would naturally lean towards the sciences. But I feel like, yes, the arts from dance to music to even writing, you know, these are areas that we can explore so much more. All right, amazing. Now, anyone who becomes Miss BVI becomes an ambassador for the territory. And that's a big job because you're not only speaking about the territory to people who are already here, but you're speaking on a global stage. Now, were you to meet someone and you told them you were from the BVI and they said, I have no idea where that is. I've never heard of this place. How would you describe the territory to them? So for me, I would describe the beauty that we have here. And that's in two parts. 
One, of course, I will speak to the natural beauty that we have. We have so many beaches, to our rock formations. I'm from Virgin Gorda, so I can't speak about natural beauty without mentioning the bats, of course. And then there's the deeper beauty, that is the people. So when you go around, I mean, from Quito's to you have El Mostot, all of these different people exemplify friendliness, the hospitality, the welcoming spirit that we have here in the Virgin Islands. So anyone who hasn't been, I would encourage them to come and experience BVI Love. All right, good job. Now, we have to bring this up. Um, and a very, a very important thing in the BVI that really brings areas of the culture together is the food. Now, whether it be your pea soup or your tart, and that should suggest what direction I'm going in right now, <laughs> I see. Um, there can be a lot of debates on how it should be done. Now, there is the tart debate going on, and we want to know what side of that debate you are on. We currently have one vote for guava tart and one vote for coconut tart. So I just want to put you on the spot a little bit right now. What is your favorite tart? It's interesting how you said it's a debate because mm -hmm. for me there's no question, there's no competition. So I'll just say this here publicly now that guava tart is absolutely, <laughs> without a doubt, the best tart. All right, well, she has shared her position. Of, of course, that brings guava tart to two votes. It's not that we have a final score coming up, but we're just keeping track so far. All right, thank you so much for joining us today. I just want to give you a chance before you wrap up to send thanks to anybody who has been an important part of your journey or has supported you and send out an invitation to anybody you want to encourage to come out on the night and support you. All right, so I will definitely start out by thanking all of my friends and family for the amount of encouragement that I've been receiving and all of the wonderful support and to just the general public I would invite all of you on July 30th to come on out you will witness nothing less than a exhibition of talent intellect poise sophistication and grace it is going to be a spectacular show all right and you certainly do not want to miss it let me just say finally thank you so much for your time today you did an exceptional job Thank All you. right, now we head to a quick commercial break. Stay tuned with us because we have to meet up with the final contestant. That is contestant number four after this quick word from our sponsors. VI Motors is having a major auto sale on all parts. What? Come on out to our Dust Bottoms location on Friday the 30th of June from 8 o'clock to 5 o'clock p.m. to enjoy 20% off all filters, including filters that are compatible with Kenworth tractors, Mac, and excavators. Get major discounts on tires. And yes, we even have tires for forklifts, big discounts on tools, batteries, generators, car accessories, lubricants, and much more parts and supplies. This is VI Motors' way of saying thank you for all your support over the Year. So come on now to VI Motors on Friday, June 30th from 8 o'clock to 5 o'clock and enjoy some great music, great food, and great giveaways. All while you capitalize on our massive auto parts sale. See you there. Yes! When you're in need of air conditioning, installation, repairs, or replacement services, Markinson Air Conditioning and Refrigeration has the professional technicians, equipment, parts, and ACs to get the job done right. Markinson Air Conditioning and Refrigeration carries top brands like Daikin, Aircon, Mitsubishi, and more. We're open Monday to Saturday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Located in Fish Bay. Telephone 340-4114 or 343-9511. Markinson Air Conditioning and Refrigeration, providing exceptional services to the British Virgin Islands since 2015. Welcome back and thank you so much for staying with us. As promised before the break, right now we are joined by the final contestant, contestant number four, Miss Roshana Stevens. How are you feeling today? I'm good. And you? I'm feeling great. It's been an amazing experience speaking with your fellow contestants so far. And of course, I'm looking forward to our discussion. All right. Now, before we get started, how about you tell us a bit about yourself? Who is Roshana Stevens? My name is Roshana Stevens. I'm from Virgin Garda. I'm 18 years old. I currently go to school at H. Lavatista Community College part-time. 
I work at my father's office. Um, I'm a lover of the arts. I play three instruments, including guitar, piano, steel pan. All right, amazing. Now, what is your reason for participating in this pageant? My reason for past participation in this pageant is that I always loved pageants. I loved watching them and I always wanted to compete in one, but I never got the chance to. Mm -hmm. So when I saw they were taking applications, I said, this is my time. I'll, yeah, I'll do it. So. All right. Well, good job for taking that step and trying to realize a dream that you've had for so long. All right. So of course, it, that's a step in the right direction. Now, your platform is a promotion of entrepreneurship to BVI youths. Expand on that for us a bit and tell us why you chose that platform. I want the BVI youth to know that working a nine to five job isn't ideal. I want them to follow their dreams and follow long, um, follow their dreams and follow things that they have wanted to do for a long time and be brave and branch out because we don't have much children going after their dreams and things that they want to do. So I want them to be inspired and go for things that they want to do. All right, amazing. Well, it's a great step that you've taken yourself to participate in this pageant. Mm -hmm. Like you mentioned, this was one of your dreams mm -hmm. to participate in a pageant. So it's good that you're living your own truth in promoting this platform. Now, of course, anyone who becomes Miss BVI will be an ambassador. For the territory and with that it comes not only speaking to people in the territory in the caribbean but it also puts you on the global stage as a representative of the bvi with that were you to meet someone who has never been to the bvi or has never heard of the bvi how would you describe the territory to them first i would say that the bvi is very beautiful very beautiful, the people are amazing and they make you feel right at home. Like you belong here. Very relaxed. Yeah. All right. Now, before we close, I just have two more questions for you. Mm -hmm. And one of them could be a bit of a debate. Mm -hmm. um, your fellow contestants all answered, they shared their sides. We have two votes on one side and one vote on another side, but I'm not going to reveal what those are to you yet but we want to know what is your favorite tart my favorite tart is definitely definitely coconut tart all right now that's interesting because this brings our vote tally for tarts today to two two so we are split dead in the middle and we have equal love for coconut tart and guava tart at the end of this discussion now, before we close, I just want to give you a chance to send thanks to anybody who has supported you throughout this journey and to invite anyone that you want to come out on the night of the pageant to support you as well. I want to thank my mom, my sponsors, my amazing friends for the support and the, the love that you have shown me. I want to thank my Virgin God community for the love I have received and come on down July 30th to support me and my fellow contestants for the Miss British Virgin Islands show. All right, thank you so much for your interview, Roshana. And of course, we wish you all the best in the upcoming pageant. Thank you. All right. And with that, we have come to the end of today's program. Thank you so much for joining us. And of course, we're looking forward to seeing all of you send in your support to the contestants as they vie for Miss BVI this year on July 30th. We'll be seeing you again soon. Thank you so much and stay tuned to 284 Media for more great content.